my goodness, there is a mansion over there. That's rad. Hey there, it's John and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be showing you guys how to install uh, fabric to play mods in Minecraft. And there's multiple launchers. There's Forge, which a lot of people are shying away from now and going over to Neo Forge. And then there is Fabric and then there's a bunch of other little random ones uh, here and there. But the most popular ones are going to be Forge and Fabric. I'm going to show you guys how to install Fabric and install Fabric mods so you too can enjoy a modded Minecraft in Java Edition. Let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and close Minecraft. And the first thing we're going to want to do, if you've never installed mods before on your computer, if it's Forge or whatever, uh, then you're going to need to install or download Java. Now, Java is a tricky one, but it, a lot of people think of it as it's possibly like having uh, viruses or whatever, but it does not. Minecraft solely launches on Java. It's a Java edition of Minecraft for a reason. It runs on Java and it ships with Java, but it needs to be updated. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download uh, Java. So I'm going to click on download. We're going to go to java.com. That's the only place you're going to go to download Java. Go to java.com and I'm going to click on downloads and I'm gonna take, it's going to take me to this uh, page here, the appropriate page. It might say 32-bit for yours if you have an older machine, but mine's at 64-bit because it's a 64-bit Java for Windows. You also may need it for, uh, for Mac. The instructions are about the same. So let's just follow along in either direction. This was last updated July 16th, 2024. So this is the most the latest version of Java. I think I already have Java downloaded, obviously, because I'm running mods, but I'm going to go ahead and download it anyway. I'm going to click on download Java right here, this big green button, and it's going to send me to where my downloads. Usually it goes to people's downloads folder. I have my downloads set to my desktop, so that way I can delete them right away. But this is the file name. It's going to be the, the version, uh, JRE, the version Windows-X64.exe. It's an exe file because it's going to run as an executable. So it's downloading and it's gonna go right here and then it's done downloading. So I'm gonna minimize this window and I'm gonna run java.exe. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see this or not. It's gonna ask me, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Uh, yes or no, Java SE runtime environment. Um, it may not show up right now on the recording because it kind of pauses everything and it makes everything go gray. I'm gonna select yes. Yeah, it just blacked out my screen, so I don't know if it's going to record that. Uh, welcome to Java Update License Terms. Um, change destination folder only if you want to install it somewhere else. Otherwise, I'm just going to say install, and it's going to install Java for me. Even if you already have it installed, it doesn't hurt anything for you to update it or install it again. It's not going to affect anything um, in any which way, shape, or form. At least I hope not. <laughs> It, it, I've never had it. I've never had it affect anything negatively. So you see the Oracle logo. Java is owned by Oracle, the largest database company in the world. And it says you have successfully installed Java. You should see this when it's all complete. If you don't see this message, it may have failed. You may have to download it again and try to reinstall it. So go ahead and close. So go back to the web. Now I'm going to close out this Java window. I don't need it anymore. Java.com is gone. We're done with that. Now we're going to want to download the fabric launcher or loader that we're going to be putting into Minecraft. And you're going to go to fabricmc.net. This is the basically the only place to really download it from. There are other places to download it from. And there are some really jank places to download it from that are sketch that I would never download anything from. So yeah, I'm using Chrome right now. You can use any browser. It really doesn't make a difference. I just prefer Chrome. I know it's not the greatest browser in the world by any means. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go to fabricmc.net. And up here, you're going to see where it says on the main page, it's going to say fabric loader. And I'm going to say download. The very top is going to have this big blue button that says download for Windows. Or if you're running a Mac, you're going to be running it on, uh, you're going to run this jar file, download universal jar. So uh, I'm going to say download for Windows. It usually recognizes it, so it's not a problem. So, okay, I'm going to download it to my desktop. It's called fabric-installer-1.01.exe, also an executable file. File, if you're on Mac, it's going to be a .jar file, .jar file. Jars run like exes on Mac. All right, so now it's going to be done downloading. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this again just so I can show you guys. This is the icon. It's like a little scroll-looking thing or a piece of fabric, <laughs> I guess. I'm going to go ahead and move it up here so you can still see it. I'm going to double click it. And then this is where the version comes into play. What version are you going to install Fabric for? This one will let you do it for pretty much any version back to uh, 1.14. Right now, the, the latest version will go to 1.21.1, but you can also do the snapshots, like the most the latest snapshots as well. So you can install Fabric for the latest snapshots if there's an API, and I'll show you what that means 
in just a second but there you go you, you can install it with uh, the new snapshots with the new creaking but there are no mods really there might be a couple like one or two literally for it but for now we're going to run it in 1.21.1 1. uh, i already have it installed so it's going to be a problem for me i'm going to install it for another version just because again i already have it installed and i think it'll mess things up for me so i'm going to install it for like 1.17 1. right so it, it, you want to install it for whatever version you're going to use. And we're going to install mods for 1.21.1 because again, I already have it installed. So I'm going to go ahead and say, it's going to say create profile with a little check mark right there. Uh, the loader version is the latest loader version, 16.5. And then this is the folder it's going to put it. It's going to put it in your dot Minecraft folder. And I'm going to say install. It's going to run its little thing. It's going to say successful install fabric loader, blah, blah, blah. Successfully has been installed. Many mods are also... Uh, are also require or require you to put fabric a api into the mods folder so not all mods and i'll show you what that is right now not all mods require the api but i always download the api because most mods will require it so why hassle with trying to figure that out later even though it'll give you the error that it needs the api okay so let's go open the window back up right here and then we're going to go back to the main fabric page just by clicking this little fabric logo at the very top the same place that you download the api from is the same place you're going to be downloading mods from it's probably one of the safest places on the internet to download mods from click on download fabric api and it's going to jump you over to curse forge curse forge is owned by amazon and amazon does not want you it's owned by twitch actually and twitch is owned by amazon and amazon doesn't want you to have viruses because it doesn't suit them any benefit to you not wanting to come back to this site, right? So here's the API. So this is gonna matter drastically on which API you install. So you, there is the API for the snapshots, uh, W38, W39, and W40 for the, the snapshots with the creaking. So those do exist. If you wanna install mods for the game of Minecraft with the creaking, you can download these APIs. We're going to download this API right here. It's going to be for 1.21.1. Uh, it's the latest full release version of, of uh, Fabric uh, API. You're going to see it has an R next to it. That's for full release. And the Bs are for betas. So I'm going to click on this. And then I'm going to click on Downstall. Don't, don't click on Install unless you want to install the CurseForge launcher. CurseForge has its own installer and an own launcher. That is a video in itself. This is installing stuff separately on your own with more control. At least I feel it's more control and it's easier for me. For a lot of other people, they really do enjoy having the installer. That's up to you. This video is not about that though. So let's go ahead and click on download and it's gonna take a few seconds and it's gonna pop up this little window, the download window, right? Then it's gonna tell me, okay, the Fabric API, where am I gonna put it? Uh, again, I'm gonna stick it on my desktop and it's a .jar file. We're not going to run these. We're just downloading them. We're going to dump them into a mods folder. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. As soon as it's done downloading, we're going to move on to the next one. It's going to say done downloading, or it'll show up wherever the download folder is with this little Java icon or whatever icon your computer happens to use for Java. Now we're going to go search for some mods. We're going to go to just click on CurseForge and then the CurseForge logo or go to curseforge.com if you want to and select Minecraft. And then up here, you can either search for a specific mod name like right there, or you can go to categories. And then these are all the different mods, mod packs, data packs, and so on. We're gonna spe specify specifically mods and I'm just gonna click on mods. And it's gonna jump me over to the mods folder. I'm gonna probably download uh, one of my favorite, maybe one or two favorite mods uh, to start off. Uh, we're going to do uh, just enough items. JEI is probably the best mod to install to see how to build every item in all the other mods that you're going to download. It makes your life a million times easier. Trust me, it's worth getting. Now I'm going to click on JEI. You can just click on download. It'll download the latest version, but I always like to click on files to make sure you're downloading the correct version because there are multiple versions of JEI, right? So this one's for NeoForge, this one's for Forge, and then this one is for Fabric. And that's the one we wanna download. It's gonna download the correct version for you. And this is for 1.21, make sure you're not downloading the one below it. This one's for 1.19. So you just wanna make sure you're getting the right version. Notice all these are beta. That's just the way this one is created. I'm gonna click on download and it will count down up here, right here, four, three, two, one and it'll give me the download folder. 
And again, it's going to go to my desktop. I'm going to say save and I'm going to go back and I'm going to go back and I'm going to go back one more time and I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to see if this requires call it library or mod to install with it. I don't see one. It doesn't specify will require blah, blah, blah. This doesn't seem like it's going to need anything. So we're good to go. Uh, we're going to also install uh, mouse tweak. Mouse tweak is another one of those mods that makes your life easier, easy to, to drag and drop items from, from uh, one chest to another. I'm going to select that. I'm going to also select files and I'm going to go down until I find the 1.21 fabric version and select that and hit download. It's going to count down again from five, four, three, two, one. And there we go. And I'm going to save that to my desktop. Again, you can save it to any folder you want, as long as you remember where all these items are and try to keep them all together. Okay. We're going to go back and back. And I don't believe this one requires another library. I think this one works on its own. If it does need a library and we forget it, or it doesn't show it on the page, it's going to give us a warning that says you are missing blah, blah, blah library. So it's okay to, to miss it now. It's just kind of nice to try to get it all together all at once. Let's download something a little more fun, a little more obvious. Let's download biomes of plenty. Biomes of plenty is always a fun one. We're going to select that. And we're going to click on files once again, and we're going to download the fabric version. It happens to be the top one, 1.2, uh, 1.1 for fabric. So you're going to notice there's not very many mods that are for the snapshot. So yes, you can download fabric and yes, you can download the API, but not very many of the more popular mods are going to be made for the snapshot. That's going to be more uh, random onesie twosies here and there. So either way, uh, 1.21 has plenty of mods to, to play with. Once again, it counts down and I'm gonna say save. And I believe this one requires a library. So once it finishes downloading, it's gonna show up by plenty there. I'm gonna go back and back one more time. And it's, it looks like it requires glitch core and this one does require the API, right? So glitch core, if you want to download glitch core, you can either search for it or you can just click right there and it'll take you to the glitch core mod, which is just a library. And again, we're gonna to go to files and we're gonna to try to find the fabric. The first one is forge, the second one is fabric for 1.20. Well, we don't want that. You're gonna notice 1.21 is further down the line for fabric, which is really odd to me in, in all honesty. But the reason being is because it was by the date it was uploaded. For some reason, 1.20 was uploaded after 1.21, but that's just the way it was uploaded. So regardless, we're going to click on this one and we're going to say download once again and save to desktop and it's done. Okay, cool. So now we're going to put stuff in the Minecraft folder and the Minecraft folder is easy to find if you know where you're looking, right? So you can either open up the, the, the window here or you can type in the bottom right here. You can type in run, R-U-N. It's going to open up this run systems folder. On Mac, you can go to the finder or you can type in um, command shift G. If you're just on the desktop, like with nothing else open on Mac, if you hit command shift G, it'll open up the, the finder folder on a PC. I think it's the windows R key. Yeah, it is windows R key. Or like I said, you can go down here and you can type in run and then it'll pop up. And you're going to want to type this in to the run box right here. Percent app data percent slash dot Minecraft. You can copy and paste it if you want to. It's going to be down in the description down below for Windows. And I'll put the code for Mac. This is not the same for Mac, right? So it's going to be this code. This is the, the string of, of text you need to put in for Mac right here. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and say, okay. And it's going to jump me automatically over to uh, the dot Minecraft folder. Now my dot, my dot Minecraft folder is a mess because I have all kinds of random stuff in here. Uh, including there's going to be mods already in my mods folder. No, there isn't. Okay, cool. So I got no mods in my mods folder. When you install fabric or forge or whatever, it automatically puts a mods folder in there. If it's like this one right here has my old mods in it. I think it's mods.old. That won't read automatically. This is going to be automatically read by Minecraft when Minecraft launches. So we're going to open that folder up and we're going to dump. I'm going to throw a mouse tweak in there. I'm going to throw a biomes or plenty in there. Glitch core library in there. JEI and the fabric API, not the fabric launcher, the installer. We don't want that. And nor, nor do we want the Java uh, installer. We don't want either one of those. As a matter of fact, once you've installed those, you can delete those from your desktop. You don't have to have them anymore. Okay. So I put those all into my mods folder. Now we can go ahead and either minimize this or close this. If you're going to add more mods, um, you can minimize it and add more mods. But I suggest you start off with a small handful. That way, if you have any issues, you can fix those issues first. Like if you need more libraries and then you can go and install more mods. So you know where the problems are without having getting inundated with a bunch of errors. Um, if errors occur and we're going to launch Minecraft once again. Okay. So now we're going to go to, it happens to be at the top. Okay. But we installed it also for 1.21 is what we were going to be loading mods for. 
So you can just select it from there, or you can do an installation and you can set up an instance for it, but that's a whole nother video in itself. So we're not going to do instances. If you guys are in interested on how to set up an instance, it does make your life super easy. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. If I get enough people that are interested, I'll do uh, at how to set up instances um, in Minecraft. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and select the version that we just installed. And we're going to say we installed 1.21.1. The installation has been modified and might not support the latest player safety features. Whatever. That's fine. So we have our mods installed. We, we're selecting our fabric loader that we already uh, set up earlier. And we're going to go ahead and say play. An error has occurred. Okay, cool. So this is what the issue is. Uh, Biomes of Plenty needs Terra Blender. Uh, I, I need to install version 4.1.0 or later. So we didn't just need Glitch Core. We also need Terra Blender, which that's fine. It's easy to install. We're going to go ahead and close that. And so it's going to ask you, it's going to say game crash and you say close. You can just leave this window up. It's not a big deal, but I'm going to go ahead and close it. It's really up to you. We're going to go back to uh, Curse Forge and we're going to go back and we're going to type in Terra Blender. Blender. Sometimes it's written as one word in the error and it's meant to be two words. So it won't show up, but it is one word right here. So there are two versions of it, three versions actually. There's Forge, Fabric, and Neo Forge. We're going to be using Fabric. So we're going to select that, but we're going to select the file that we want, which is going to be for 1.21 Fabric. And that's going to be the version that it's asking for, right? 4.1.0 or greater. And we're going to be going to the latest version of it. We're going to select and download. Countdown once again. It's going to put it on the desktop. And we're going to go ahead and say run once again and say OK. Go back to our mods folder and we're going to throw Terra Blender in there. I'm going to go ahead and close that and minimize this in case we need to come back to Chris Forge for more mods and relaunch Minecraft. Now we're back in 1.21.1 as fabric loader and we're going to say play. Now remember all those mods are installed. It should work now. There should be no more errors. And it looks like it's going to be good to go. And we're going to say single player. I'm going to say create new world and we're going to give it a name. We'll say fabric world test. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna leave commands on. Uh, survival is fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and go into creative for now just so I can show you stuff really quickly. And I'm gonna say create new world. And there we go. We've got a loaded map. It doesn't look any different just yet until we get about right here that we start noticing a different biome, um, a mini, a little mini biome here. Oh, this village is really cool actually. And if I hit, hit E, you're gonna see JEI on the right hand side over here. Uh, this kind of gives you an idea of how to build stuff that are not normally in the game or even the stuff that's in the game. If it makes it a lot easier, it just kind of gives you a recipe on how to build it. It tells you exactly what to do in order to get this particular item. Like I need to build a composter. How do I do that again? Oh yeah, okay, I can do it with any of these little items. How do I build this again? Okay, cool. It tells you exactly how to build it. And then if you select an item that's within it, it'll tell you how to make that item as well. But yeah, that's how to install mods in the game of Minecraft uh, with Fabric. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys get to enjoy uh, modded Minecraft as much as I enjoy modded, modded Minecraft. So again, I hope you guys do enjoy this. And if you did, if you can smash that like button down below and let me know if you have any questions on how to install stuff. If you're having issues on installing Java files or whatnot, uh, let me know and I can try to uh, assist as far as I can. I try to help people uh, play modded Minecraft pretty much all the time. Sometimes it takes me a while to reply back if the video is a little bit older. Uh, but nonetheless, I try to do so. Follow along by hitting that subscribe button. And yeah, until the next one. See ya.